Hello, and welcome. This is me, Corporal Lork, and today I am doing the long awaited UDK tutorial part 8. Now, it's been a very long time since I've done a, did I, blah, 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 since I've done a UDK video. Um, I've recently just done a, a CryEngine video. Um, so, yes, I'm going to finish this UDK series, hopefully with this episode. And this episode is about uh, front ending UDK. So, I haven't actually tested this out at all um, because I'm not entirely sure how it works. But I'm doing what I assume is the correct method of front ending your UDK game. So as you can see, if you remember, this was our this is our map that we well map that I created anyway. Um, still, the tree is bugging out when you do that. Uh, I have no idea how to fix that. Um, my knowledge is not that fantastic. Um, so basically, I've gone and launched UDK front end. Uh, I'm still using the older version of uh, UDK. I have got the uh, the um, What's it called? June version. I don't know. If there's a new one out. I haven't checked. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to carry on using the one that I used for the other tutorials. Um, I think they should be similar uh, if you're using a future version. But anyway, um, I'm going to do what I believe is the correct way to front end a UDK map. So what we want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, find UD uh, Unreal front end, uh, which I've already done. You can just search it there if you want. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to open it up here and as you can see you've got your Unreal front end and you've all looks rather sort of ominous, no real way to do things. So basically uh, as you can see, you've got these different profile profiles which should already be there. Uh, so basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one, and I'm going to clone it, so I have two of them. Then I'm just going to rename it. I have to click on rename. There we are, sorry, I got a bit confused there. Uh, I'm going to do DM first map and then uh, click on it again and then once you've done that you then can select which maps you're going to use so I'm just going to remove this one and I'm going to add then I'm going to find the map that we've been doing recently first map, DM first map I'm going to add selected maps so as you can see this is where it's uh, being cooked uh, and basically cooking is where it compresses everything down into an installer I believe so I'm going to give it a go you simply just have to press start when you've uh, done your maps um, so yeah I'm going to start it then so I, I don't know how long it, it takes uh, I tried it once but I believe it was uh, fairly quickly or I hope it's fairly quickly so as you, if you look down here it's got all the way places where it's uh, compiling everything together and I believe it is creating a um, sorry uh, it's, I'm trying to think of the right words it's, it's creating a installer um, I think uh, the way you can install your game because I think you just basically keep the um, Unreal Tournament menus so that will appear with your game unless you've ed edited it otherwise. Um, so as you can see now it's now gone into the cooking stage I believe by reading the monitor. Um, so what I'll do is I will stop the recording and I will come back to it when it is finished 
um, cooking what it's doing. Okay, back. Um, <clears throat> as I'm doing it, it seems to have finished doing it, and it's launched the uh, game, I believe. So it's good to instant action. Uh, it should have. There we are. Uh, if you go to map. You should only have one map. It doesn't have an image for it, but it doesn't matter. So you can then actually go in. Um, let's just go back and just start game, I guess. So, it didn't take too long. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, people have already spawned and everything, as they should do. It's still in within the editor, I believe, though, so everything's still going to be like it was. So, um, I'm just going to exit this. Exit. And I do believe that if I now click ESC, exit game, uh, it is uh, so it skipped package game. Uh, now. I can't exactly remember where it puts things. So, I'm just going to have a little look around, so I'll be right back. Ah, okay. What I realised I'd done is I'd skipped the packaging of the game. So, I'm just going to start it again and make sure that packaging the game doesn't have big skip over the top um, you've got to click the arrow and click enable packaging so again I'm just going to uh, speed it along uh, it seems to be going relatively fast here uh, it's going to be actually packing the game hopefully into an... oh you see here it's actually launching the, uh, so you can obtain change the name of the game. Oh, I'm just gonna see that's that's the inch intro. Very loud. That's actually the intro video for the, the, your game. So yeah, I'm just gonna change the name to first map game. FMG package the game. So it's now actually uh, let's exit, exit game. I believe it's now actually making an. Here we are. It's actually making an, an installer for the game. So right here it says compressing. It's basically adding all the little bits of the game into an into an installer. So if we just uh, let that run, yeah. So it's compressed it all, and here we are. It's done. So again, I'm going to need to find where it's put it. So I ah here we are. It says it's uh, UDK. Okay. So let's just go there. Let's go to computer. Let's go to UDK. Um. UDK 2704 uh, UDK install, there it is now, I'm hoping that is your installer so then you now have something that will install the game, so I'm just going to double click on it, just sh I'm not going to actually install it oh, why has my mouse gone all weird that's very odd can't seem to mo actually move over there Okay, uh, I'll be right back, just gonna change something. Uh so one moment, here we are. Just gonna think I'm still recording. Yeah, I'm still recording. Uh, I'm not sure what happened exactly there. Let's try and launch it again. Yeah, I've I've got some weird bug. Here we are. Uh, that's fixed now. If I click yes it will launch an installer. Now all of these things, like the splash screen you see 
the movie intro to when you launch the game, they can all be changed within the UDK game folder. So here you are. This is the license terms to do with UDK. So it's all perfectly legal since we're not selling it. So if you click that I accept, this is where it would install the game. So I'm actually going to go ahead and install it. So it's installing. It's installed the actual um, files. Now it's installing DirectX 9. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping since this is my first time I've tried it that this is going to have installed the game and allow people without the actual engine to install install it and play it. So I'm going to cut here and come back when it's uh, apparently um, all installed unless it's going to finish now which it might... oh here we are, it's done, let's just minimise this and close that actually. So you see it's decompressing them all now it's uh, unloading all the files into the install location so um, this uh, won't affect your, U U your uh, UDK editor installation at all I hope but yeah, let's see how it goes. So here we are, preparing it for the first run. Compared to the uh, Cry Engine, I actually don't know how to front end the Cry Engine. So that's a bit of a thing I don't um, know. So it's actually finished installing it. So I'm not going to launch it there. It should actually. Uh, it might be on my desktop, so if I just have a... No, it's not on my desktop, I shall um, just search first map first map game, here we are. So I can actually, if I launch that I'm hopefully, fingers crossed, it actually installed the Unreal Engine and my map, so hopefully we're actually going to have Hopefully we're actually going to have a full-fledged game. So here we are. It's an action map. Here we are. That's our map. So all of these menus and things you can customize yourself. But I've not covered that because that's not really to do with UDK. You have to write scripts and things and all such stuffs. But anyway, let's exit the game. But there we are, that is how you front-end your game, and you can hand that installer to anyone who wishes to play it, and they can install it to their computer and play it. That is really neat, it's, it's the first step of making a game, is actually making a first map for it, and giving it to people, and it actually working on installing it. Okay, so this actually concludes the UDK series, so it's a big thank you for me for watching the whole of the series, and I'm sorry that it's been such a long wait. Um, for this last episode, um, I had to do some figuring some stuff out because I had a couple of errors and things. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope all my tutorials helped you. Uh, I'm really interested to see if any of you who are watching these actually make any games. I'm really interested to see them, and if you use the tutorials, even more so, the better. Um, so yeah. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, I guess this is it. Thank you very much for watching. Series out. And yeah, uh, goodbye.